Hi YouTube, this is uh, Pam Weavers. Um, just sorted out uh, where this uh, door section is and lift that flap. Uh, just sorted out the ballast on uh, these couple of sections here. And I thought I'd just fill in this little corner. I had uh, some pigs here originally, but they was on a bit of nice grass. So I've done a bit of uh, soily ground for them. A little bit of a mire there. I've done that with a bit of varnish and then put the uh, earth scatter over the top. So hopefully it seems to be giving it like a, a wet look on that bit. I don't know if you can see in there. Um, and put the pigs in there while it was still wet. I thought it save them falling down. A few little trees around and a uh, bit of fence. Just got to weather the fence down. But when I do the track weather in I can take care of that. So that's closed in that little corner. And I thought uh, I'd show you the next section just here where we're actually going to raise all this piece up by about uh, 75 mil, three inches if you wanted to have the proper measurement. And then the idea is that this triangular piece I'm going to fill in over to where the uh, mug is. But do that as a lift out section. Um, so I thought I'd just show you Obviously with a bit of polystyrene what I'm doing is uh, just roughing up the shape of the embankments and where the uh, gap is there in the level crossing. I'm going to bring a road up through here, see a little bit of a notch here, curve it in around and then back through. So I thought I'd just show you uh, a little bit as I'm doing this piece to give you an idea of uh, how I do it. Obviously. A lot of people do the polystyrene and then they'll cover it in mod rock but that um, section up there was a piece of polystyrene cut out and obviously this bit down here and you can see I've got a bit of shape into it and I thought well what's the point in putting mod rock over it just emulsion it and put the scatter on but I thought I'll show you this bit being done then you can see how I do it and uh, see what you think. So we'll uh, show you a few shots in through there. We'll do a bit more and we'll uh, see you a little bit later. Right, here we are. This is about uh, three quarters of an hour later. Just uh, got a bit of ply around there for the road bed coming up over that hill. And uh, I've just cut this polystyrene in around. I mean, it's not fixed at the minute, it's all loose. Uh, I did uh, just, I don't know if you can see that, rebated it in underneath that ply so that'll give that a bit of support. Um, like I say, that's, you know, roughed up at the minute. Just to get me an idea of what it's going to look like. What I'm going to do is put uh, a bit of frame through the back here now. Get this uh, ready to put some ply up here. And then uh, I'll have something to like prop this in place just temporary for a minute. And then we'll come back and have another look. Alright, been a good afternoon. Been about three hours on this. Uh, obviously I've just whacked a coat of paint over the uh, polystyrene. Um, I just laid in, it's only rough there at the minute but We've laid in where the road's going to come up through. I'll have to cut a grey on that. And that'll curve around to here. And obviously, I had, uh, thought I'd just well put the top on. These are only temporary fix. I'll put a bit of paint over that. So, yeah, not bad at all. I'll uh, probably tomorrow now see if I can uh, get a little bit of static grass on some of it. I'll show you what I do. Everything's loose. All these uh, bits here will come out. I'm obviously putting static grass on those. If they're stood up, you can't really get that good a coverage. Um, and obviously, like the joints need to be uh, painted, made, feathered in a bit. But we'll uh, catch you tomorrow. Right, here 
we are uh, Sunday afternoon. I've just spent an hour on this uh, section and done all the static grass on this. So, obviously it's just been done. It's come out not too bad at all. And like I say, that's literally straight onto that painted polystyrene. I haven't bothered with any mud rock. I like the section just there where there's a bit plop, plumped on top. There's a bit of gap which I'll fill in later with probably, you know, something like this. Work a bit of that in on the edges, but... Uh, yeah, not too bad. And like I say, I don't see the point in covering it mob, with mob rock because, you know, depending where you buy it, three or four quid a roll, it's uh, probably would have taken possibly a couple of rolls there. So I've just gone straight onto that polystyrene. I think that's worked quite well. Time we tie in a little bit of filling underneath here, but I add a few uh, bushes and bits and pieces. Try and perhaps you know do something like I done there. Which not too bad. That was done in a couple of pieces, fairly thin there, but it was a bit of a step there, so on the whole, didn't look bad at all. So like I say we'll uh, that'll be it now for a couple of days. I'm a bit busy with work, um, but we'll probably have a bit more later on in the week. Fill in a few little bits and perhaps get that uh, road surface done. There we are, we'll leave you to it. Right, we've uh, blended in these uh, slopes a bit now, put a little bit of the uh, wall along that section to some of that plastic I painted so I filled it in along the bottom edge and uh, just literally done this road surface and that's like an end gauge ballast by gauge master put down some neat PVA and just sprinkle the gravel on top so I quite like the effect of the uh, gravel rather than just a plain painted surface. Might be a bit of a nuisance if you want to do uh, road markings, but uh, I'm not too worried about that. And uh, just put like a bit of a different colour ballast there in that corner, make like a little bit of a pull in, and then going across uh, just on the level crossing. Cut some matchsticks in between the sleeper uh, tracks there and just use this uh, gravel up to the tracks. I did put uh, matchsticks the other side on the sleepers and then filled in these sections here with filler and just uh, literally put some PVA down over the top of that. Sprinkle the gravel on and it's literally just been done. So just leave that overnight and then I'll hoover up the excess so uh, but yeah it's come together quite nicely so uh, well, that took about three hours Sunday afternoon and I've had a couple of evenings had an hour and a half on it tonight so you know it's formed that up quite nicely so that was literally no mob rock used so but there we are, we'll uh, leave you to it and hopefully next I can get all the track weathered up. Cleaned up a bit, a few little uh, bushes and trees along these uh, blank bits here. And perhaps I'll have a bit of a running session. But Thanks a lot for watching and uh, we'll catch you soon. Bye for now.